Okay, so uh, tell me your name and tell me what you do. My name is Anna Rickert and I work with the EcoSandras program yeah. uh, on agricultural aspects of sustainable sanitation. Oh. And um, you're about to launch some new interesting thing, publication actually. Yeah, that's right. Today we're launching the new updated guidelines for uh, practical guidance of use of urine in crop production. Oh, that's really interesting. So you, you have it here, right? Yeah, it's right here. This is the one. So that's the new one. And um, so what, what's, the, what's the most interesting thing that this is going to tell us that for people who, haven't, who don't know much about this subject? Yeah. So one thing it's going to tell you that urine is an excellent fertilizer and it's going to share some results and experiences that have been, been gathered ar around the world. Uh -huh. And it's a collaborative process to make a guideline like this. So it's based in the Susanna Working Group for Food Security and Productive Sanitation. So it tells us that urine is a good fertilizer and it also gives us some help on how to bring this to a local, very practical level. Mm -hmm. So there's a section that uh, Know, gives basic uh, knowledge about urine as a fertilizer. But yeah. then there's also a section that uh, helps uh, people on, at the, on the local level to make a local guideline yeah. for how to use urine. Okay, that sounds really practical actually. That's great. So, so, <laughs> so which, you know, which organizations have been taking part in doing this? You say it's an international effort. Mm. It's an international effort, but it's been coordinated by myself as a part of the EcoSandras program by the Stockholm Environment Institute. Okay. And there's been uh, people from all over the world participating, but the GTZ have taken a large part, and uh, also um, Peter Morgan from Akomor in uh, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. and uh, IFMI in Ghana have also partic participated, to mention just a few of them. Yeah. Okay. That's really very interesting. So, so what, what, what comes next? <laughs> well, you know, we know quite a lot about urine as a fertilizer, but now it comes to working with the software, how to establish uh, the communication to institutional aspects, the legal framework, uh, s to get these things rolling. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of work to be done, yeah. and we hope that this text is going to give some inspiration in that. Because the... the um the rules about organic food in the EU, they are problematic, aren't they? Yeah, that's just one part of it. <laughs> as, as a small but very key uh, part. Um, organic product producers in the European Union, or organic products sold in the European Union cannot be fertilized with uh, human excreta. Uh -huh. and why and is that? That's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I think it has to do with the fact that there's been some skepticism. Yeah. And uh, this book helps to de-dramatize the urine, uh, the use of urine yeah. in crop production. Oh. That's good. That's really good. Thank yeah. you very much. So could you just tell me your name again and who you work with? Yeah, my name is Anna Rickert yeah. and I work with the Stockholm Environment Institute and the EcoSandras program. Okay. Thank you very much, Anna. That's really <laughs> great. Thank you.